Good afternoon, welcome to Emmanuel's Gardens. We're here modeling the brand new chicken brooder. The, uh, the chicken brooder here is actually made out of 100%, well not 100%, but pretty much close to 100% recycled material. All the 99% of the wood that you see here is either sourced from, uh, from pallets that are recovered these boards to make this siding, the lap siding. And also uh, the, the structure of the frame is from old pieces of our deck that burned down several years ago that we replaced that we, we were able to salvage some of the wood and also some of it is like this piece you can see here is pretty brand new that's a piece that was left over from the full-blown chicken tractor so um, the plan is to get somewhere between 25 to 50 chicks here inside the brooder if you want to come over here I'll show you some of the features of the brooder See my handy dandy little prop here. The, the galvanized steel roofing is uh, also uh, reclaimed. But the only new pieces in this uh, brooder are the hinges itself. You can see some over there in the corner. Nice shiny hinges. And uh, there's all four sides are hinged. And the reason that I did that is if you come over here and look, you can see that there's these pins here. And the idea is that when I, when I get done with the chicks and we're done with the brooder, I can pull the pins out and take it apart and uh, take the lid off because the hinges for the lid are also pinned. And uh, that way it'll be a little bit easier to store. It won't take up quite so much space. Uh, this isn't where the brooder's going to be. We're probably going to move it into the area where the, uh, the what we call the dog yard uh, behind you there. Uh, mostly in there just so that it will be closer to the house, easier to run an extension cord for a heat lamp and uh, things of that nature. So that's pretty much it. Um, it wasn't a terribly hard project, you know, it just took some time in uh, salvaging the, uh, the lumber. And uh, the idea here is that, you know, obviously it won't be open. When the lid closes up, it's pretty tight. There's not very many openings. Uh, I did try to leave a few openings for uh, airflow, but I didn't want too big of openings because I was afraid that critters would get in there and have an all-you-can-eat chick buffet, and I didn't want that to happen. So the chicks are for me to eat, not critters. So that's it. See you next time on Emmanuel's Garden.